Hello there guys, what's good? Welcome to the Ultimate Road to Glory series. You know how we do. And we are back with the Premier League footies. Raheem, the Dream Sterling. If he doesn't win, I will be pleasantly surprised. I want Conor Plianka to take the victory. If it was down to these two though, I could see a lot of people voting for Coman based on the nationality. It'd be so much easier to bring him into a full chem side so you don't have to focus on the Bundesliga. With Conor Plianka though, his footies would surpass his inform and then we would have a serious card to try out. He's got nice strength, decent amount of height, and pretty good uh, finishing on this game. And I believe he's got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Sterling will win. And one thing to pay attention to, it says, vote for Raheem Sterling as your favorite left mid slash left wing. So his player of the month card, that 84, was positioned in that right mid spot. And he was effective. At the start of the game, he was pretty much a B-Tech human son. He had ridiculous strength, good balance, and his finishing was great because of those driven strikes. You know they're overpowered so with him being pushed to the left mid uh, position i wonder how he's going to play obviously his card is going to be 85 86 or maybe even 87 god knows what they're going to do i can't remember if his finesse shots were actually that good so we will unlock him but it is a shame that sterling is going to win and i wonder what category is going to be next i hope it's like an attacker or a cam at least and then they go up the pitch and then come back down to the right back that'd be pretty cool but let's uh, unlock Conor Plianka. I'm, I'm voting for players that aren't in the Premier League, pretty much. I, I hope that a lot of people will start following this trend and we can change things up in the footies because EA just have other ideas. They keep putting those players that they know everyone's going to vote for. Right, so Conor Plianka, 77 overall, 60 chemistry. I don't know why they've even got 60 chem as a requirement. They should have 30. It would make it a lot easier to vote, but oh well, we've got some chem. I briefly spoke about the footmas cards in the last episode, and I did say I wanted to wait a day or two to think about which ones I wanted to unlock. With footmas Luka Modric, if you don't have the coins for that team of the year, then that could be a pretty good unlock. For me, though, I would recommend buying that team of the year. Unbelievable. What a card. And I will probably bring him back on the road to glory at some point before FIFA 18. The one card that I am going to unlock though is Moussa Dembele. And the reason for this is he is very effective, not only on the pitch, like his non-inform is great, so I'm sure this is going to feel uh, even better, but he's very good for chemistry. He gets the link to Human Sun. He also gets the link to Eden Hazard if we're wanting to bring back that team of the season. And what I have in mind as well, during the week, I'm going to do like a mini series inside of the Road to Glory to freshen things up. I'm going to take three players from a comment that you leave. If you haven't seen me use these cards or you just want me to use them in general, then I will build a hybrid around those. We're going to be dropping in certain requirements as well to make it a little bit tricky or you guys can come up with some of the rules rules and we can see what kind of uh, teams I can I can build and that should be fun as well during the week and then we will focus on the weekend league at the weekend so with uh, the overall team you need an 83 rated side two players from your foot champions rewards I hadn't used this card uh, his team of the season when he first was released I did and it's the same version but I, I don't feel that he's that reliable he's fun to use so if you haven't got too many coins he could be a cool player to try out but right now I'm fine with uh, dropping him in and unfortunately he's been released as a left mid he has now transferred to arsenal which i'm excited to see how he can do in the premier league i'm sure he'd do a good job but the rest of the team is very cheap so welcome musa dembele Wow, I can't believe I haven't tried this guy. I really did like his non-inform. It was his stamina that was a little bit poor. So hopefully this version is all good. So you know we opened the top 100 weekly rewards. We got a hell of a lot of inform cards and then added to the rewards that we got last week. I literally have done a club clear out and I was surprised with how many coins we actually made. Bellotti 22 and some of these cards, I'll, I'll come back to them, but some of these cards that I had already at the club, like Sinclair, I bought him for the Smalling um, SBC. Like before we knew what kind of requirements like the footy trend was really going to start, I invested in Sinclair for 18,000 coins and for whatever reason he's gone up to 24. I wonder if he's gone up for the fact that a lot of people wanting to build full English size because of Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard. That could be a good shout. With Harry Kane, I bought him for, I think, 175. Sold him on for 183. I've been buying him on and off, really. I thoroughly enjoyed that card. He's solid. Really good finisher. Lucas, the same. We uh, bought him for 18,000. Sold him on for 24. And I'm not even meaning to make 
coins again it's one thing that it just keeps happening not many of these informs are on the market so you can really like dictate their price uh Gignac, 30 000. these were from the uh, weekly rewards though like 33k 41 at 37 30 why is he selling for 37k i just don't understand it seriously am i missing something here there was only a couple on the market so yeah 37k for an 81 rated inform unbelievable 34k for gomez like we made some decent coins uh yeah I, I quite like that i think we've done a good job with some of the um uh spcs that i had unlocked though that you wouldn't have seen in the road to glory as a one-off video we did lampard and steven gerrard and collectively they cost i think it was about like 200,000 coins or so and we made all of that back and some from the weekly rewards so that's fantastic if we can get every single end of an era card well they might have stopped now i don't know what other ones they could release what they should have done is playing legends that would be that would have been fantastic i'm pretty sure that drogba is still on the game so that would have been one any other cards that you can think of like playing legends so different pro Promos, bring them out EA uh, freshen up the game that'd be fantastic but yeah anyway guys let's go and have an update with the foot champions I've only played 13 games I couldn't start on the Friday so now we have 27 to grind out I'm prepared to do that I'm fine with that 12 wins that we have received though I'm not comfortable with the team the fluidity in the attack isn't feeling that great so I want to speak about some of the players and maybe ones that I would uh, switch out in a second with the loss that I took no I shouldn't have lost that my opponent had two shots Shots. he scored from one of those and i had eight on target and nothing would go in like kante was missing sitters and it's not like him he is seriously overpowered one thing i want to check though is the uh, monthly rank so we have 79 wins out of 92 um yeah we're not far away yeah we're not far away I, I hope that i can get top 100 monthly this month that's what i'm playing for i still won pele in a pack or hullet in a pack. Pele or hullet, that'd be great. So one thing I haven't really been enjoying that much about the team is playing Gareth Bale as the right attacking mid. Whenever I've played him in that right wing, right mid position, he doesn't have that freedom on the ball. You would expect Griezmann to have the technical dribble trait, the face up dribbling, whereas Gareth Bale, he's lacking that quality on the ball. Last month, I had a team sent in with non-informed Gareth Bale and I played him as a striker and he was unbelievable for me. So what I'm going to do for today's episode is switch up the team, play him in not so much his preferred position, but on the game he will be, be suited as a striker. So we're going to play him alongside Ronaldo, which is going to be great. And then Griezmann in this formation, well, the 4-2-3-1, he's been going missing, but it doesn't mean that he's a bad player. Just human son in that spot you can get away with playing him there because he has really good pace, awesome strength, and he gets those rebounds. Whereas Griezmann, you rely on being a little bit better on the ball with him. You have to be technical. You've got to use his dribbling to uh, his advantage. So I think that Griezmann as a cam, right back in the middle would be great. Ronaldo, Bale, striker, and then obviously these guys as uh, as the center mids or CDM. So I'm hoping we can take control in that formation because I've, I'm out of practice. I've been using 4-2-3-1 for so long now, and I feel that 4 one 2 one 2 is going to expose me. There's only one way to find out. But I've been enjoying Aspilicueta being played as the left back, and Maldini has been doing a good job for me. So I, I, I like the defense. It's, no, there's no real problems with it. Maybe DeMarcos at times feels a little bit like cheap when going into challenges. Uh, other than that, it's a good side. So my custom tactics have actually changed quite a bit. I brought down the speed to 60, uh, the uh, pressure to 40, and the aggression to 60. So yeah, we're going to be changing the team out to a 4 one 2 one 2 Let's go to the weekend league and get more wins. It's going to be difficult because, yeah, there's only good players playing. Let's go. Net six and chill. I'm pretty sure that this guy is a very, very good player. Ronaldo 96. 95 Iniesta, which is different. I like that. And he has a strong back four. That 96 Ronaldo. I've got to track his run. Otherwise, it's going to be devastating if he gets through. That was a good dribbling. He's going to find Suarez. Oh, nah. That was terrible. Wow, that's a lovely ball. If we can get past Ramos here. No. You can see what kind of game it is. I don't think it was a great idea to go to the 4 one 2 one 2 especially against someone like this. It was my fault, but there we go. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to bring up my speed to 75. Uh, no, sorry, 70. And I'm going to bring up my pressure to about like 55 and really try and take the game to him because right now I literally can't create anything. Oh, that was a really nice ball. Griezmann. Wow. 
One shot, one goal, and that is all it takes. What I need to do right now, though, is change Asper de Quetta and Maldini's position. I don't think I did that. I feel just a little bit more comfortable with my players actually pushing up at the right time instead of giving him so much space to work with. I'm going to chip that over to Rud Hullet. Get that pace, get that power. Give it back to Griezmann. Pull it. Ooh, nearly. Unlucky. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I know that that was terrible defending. Again, I'm just misjudging it. I think it's just out of practice, really. It is my first game of today, but I know what I did wrong there. And it's just so bad. Look at that. Look at that. That was an easy challenge. He didn't do anything. Carry this ball for us. Good turn. Anyone overlapping? We need some more support. Pogba. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Get that. Ronaldo. Griezmann. No. We should have probably got back into the game there. Ronaldo, though. Hit. Griezmann. Oh, this is difficult. This is a difficult game. We did create like two to three chances in the space of a minute right there. Nothing was falling for us. Oh, God. This is, this is fun, though, but it's just too stressful, really. For the rewards on offer, it's not worth it. Even when I think I'm there to make an interception, the game is just out of sync for me. I, I can't actually tackle properly with confidence. I don't know what it is right now. I thought Ultra D was out of fashion. Wow. Oh, my God. I think, I think the time with me and Bale is over, man. Just... Oh, my players are getting pulled across. That's going to be four. Yeah. See, I should have scored the other end. Bale in competitive games. I don't know what it is when I bring him to foot champions. Shocking for me. There we go. Can we get one more? Can we get like a consolation goal? Griezmann. So yeah, he can score them. That was pretty much exactly the same as how I set it up for Bale. Moving Griezmann to that can position, he came alive. Three goals for him. And our opponent was good, decent player. It took me at least a half to warm up and get used to the gameplay. One thing that I wasn't enjoying though, was the fact that I was in a good position to make interceptions or for my players to auto lunge and intercept the ball like they usually do. And it was going straight through. Like one of his goals, I think it was Suarez, he was right in front of me and he literally ran straight and I couldn't position properly uh, to lock on uh, for the ball so I was disappointed with the way I defended if I could have sorted out my defense then maybe we would have come away with the result but that Gareth Bale miss I'm gonna take him out this team how much should I pay for Gareth Bale 485,000 coins okay how much is he selling for for eight that one's literally just been listed for 480 I wonder if that sells if that sells then um yeah, that could be pretty cool. So he's just been listed for 480. I might list mine for 510, and I'm pretty sure that that one will go. So let's um, list him up. I, I don't know who to play as a, a right mid now that can play as a striker. I think the only other card that I have right now at the club is George Best. And George Best, is he really um, a right striker? Probably not, but we can uh, give him a go. So send him for 510. I hope that he sells. Where is George Best? Was he started as a right winger? Yeah, okay. That's going to be fine. Here, get chemistry. Now, the right back. DeMarcos isn't bad. I could actually just keep DeMarcos in. Are there any other right backs I have at the club that I'd much rather use over him? Uh, Pichet. Pichet wasn't bad when I last used him. Shall I bring back Coleman? Is he a little bit too slow for the game right now? Um, with all the other team of seasons? No, I'm going to bring back Coleman for a bit and see what he's saying. So I am going to switch it out to a 4-1-2-1-2 uh, one, two, one, two, like I played in that last game. It just took me a half to get used to. I did bring up the uh, pressure though to 55 and the speed needs to be brought up in the 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, to 70. Right, let's go and redeem that loss and get a win because that would be embarrassing if we get back-to-back -back losses. But it's all good, it's just chilled. But that last game started to trigger me a little bit. It was uh, just frustrating. Anyway, game two, let's go. This one isn't as good as the last team. It's still serious though, they keep coming. And we've got a win. So, yeah, must win game. It's all a little bit weird for me right now. Ronaldo, though. Oh, George Best. Ronaldo. Finesse. There we go. 1 0. We can't afford to lose this game. If we want to push for like the top 100 monthly, we just can't lose right now. 
So I've already lost two. I have swapped Maldini and Asper Equator or their positions and he's still bombing up the pitch. Oh, that is good. Yes. Fantastic. Very nice. I didn't rush that at all. I knew that Griezmann was going to make that run. Him in that cam position is a different player. Don't play him as a left attacking mid. And that right there, guys, is what we needed. A rage quit. Get that confidence back and we can go into the next game. He didn't have a shot on target. He wasn't even using like the best Kante, so we'll let him off. Realistically, we need to get to 20 wins and two losses. We're 13 and two right now. We've got to win. Simple. That's it. Kante can bang them. Let me try and look for that guaranteed goal. George Best. He's got a four-star weak foot, which is nice. It's very handy. I don't know if he's really suited for a striker position. Uh, who'll it? Yes. <sighs> Butland. I've got nobody there. Or have I? Ronaldo's come out to support. Griezmann's there. We're keeping possession pretty well around the edge of his area. He seems to be uh, confident enough to not get it clear. Jesus. Jesus, no. What well I can't say. Got him, Ronaldo. Burst past him. Find Pogba. Oh my god. I think Butland actually got a hand to that. He did, didn't he? That was going to go top corner if he didn't. Look at this. I want to see that replay. Finesse. He, what? I think he just got a touch to it. He did get a touch because it's a corner. How? Jesus. He didn't look like it on the replay, but he did enough to prevent that from going in. Oh, that was awful. Go on, best. Find. Uh, give it to Ronaldo. Finesse. There we go. Finally, I was desperate for that. The first play we played was much better than this guy. Although I scored three goals in that game, I'm struggling to find the back of the net in this one. I would have preferred if we went two goals up. It's not one of those games. It's a struggle. I don't think we're even going to get the second goal in the second half. I'll push for it though. Seven shots on target. Ah, man. He's going to get one shot on target and it'll go in. Oh, his attack is speeding up. Oh, God. He's got his whole... Well done, Griezmann. He's actually getting a lot of those interceptions there. Now, this is a dangerous position for him. Ronaldo, 2-1, back in front, fully deserved. Like, I don't like to sit here and say, like, I'm the best on FIFA because I'm not. But against this guy, I should be winning. See, Coleman, I actually really hope that he gets the footies. He better get a footies. Pogba, oh, that was awesome. Yo, what the hell? I didn't even realize that that ball went back to Pogba. I thought he was running off the pitch. Fair enough. Great skill, that acceleration he got from uh, the sprint boost. And that's what I was saying. The, the difference between that inform to his other ones, he does feel a lot quicker. Oh, that was sick. Oh, it's because he... Oh my god, Best, what are you doing? It's because he fouled me. It mucked up my pass to Best. It wouldn't let me play it. Look, he's complaining with him, but it wasn't my fault. It was the game mechanics. I will go for goal, and I'm going to take it with... Uh, Griezmann. I'm going to change up a little bit. I'm going to take it with Griezmann. See if he has uh, some nice free kicks. I'm not going to put too much power on it. And that's taken a deflection. A rough start to that game. It took a while to break him down. Then he got the goal in the second half. And I thought, right, that's it. We're going to get cheated out of this win. No, we didn't. We stepped up in the second and got the result. We played well in that game. Was it in that game or the last one where Butland made a stupidly good save? On the replay, he didn't get any connection behind it. It was a corner though, so he must have made the save. That should have gone in. I, f I feel like there's some sort of pre-scripts in the game at times where it forces you to take so many shots on target and your opponent will get that one shot, one goal. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that was a little bit too stressful for the quality of opponent that we came up against. Griezmann though, he is turning up now. Him in that cam position, his dribbling is beautiful. It's so smooth and responsive, especially when the game is good. My good God. Uh, best as a striker isn't doing a bad job. I'm going to leave it as it is. If you've got any recommendations for me with this team, you can uh, yeah, you can just put it in the comment section. Who should I play? Who should I bring in? Could be someone from the Premier League. It could be, uh, we could even swap these out because we have the two legends here. So I'm needing a right mid to play as a striker, preferably with a right foot because that would be lovely. Anyway. Let's go into the last game. So let's do our best and finish off with a win. Who's that bronze matey right forward? Uh, is he going to get rid of him or is he going to play it? Oh, I don't mind. That's fine. Bronze versus Maldini. Great. Go on, Hullet. 
to say, see what I mean with the, with the tackling, finally, and that's a foul. It's unbelievable today for me. I, I can't get clean tackles. I haven't got that confidence to win back the ball and go on a, an attack. That was a bit risky. Well done, Hullet. Lovely interception. Ronaldo, make that run. Come on. That's it. Over the top. Now we need support. It could be a 2v... It's not going to be a 2v1. Being pushed uh, too far out wide. But Griezmann is there. Scoop turn. Finish. Oh, wow. Come on, Pogba. Best. Give it to best straight away. And again. That's fine. Through. Through. Uh, it, it. No, he, he delayed it. See, the game delayed my pass through to best for whatever reason with Griezmann. And it should have been an easy pass. And it messed my whole chance up there. That was a little bit lucky. All right, fair enough. Well, that's just made up for whatever error it gave me literally a minute ago. I should have got the goal pretty much. Don't bring out my center back. No. Is, is Butland there? Oh, God. Butland, stay. Oh, Coleman, you absolute god. That is why I love Coleman. His tackles are unbelievable. This guy is pretty good at the back. I expect him to change a few things in the attack. So hopefully we can catch him on the counter. Give it back to him. Best. Quickly. We need that pass through. What well on Griezmann. Preferred pass with his left foot. George Best. Rebound. Oh, my. There we go. And first time. Ronaldo's there. Give it back to Best. Give it back to Best. Set the shot. George Best, oh, I thought that would have been game over. We only managed to score the one goal in that match. Had a few other chances, but one was enough. We got the result, and he was playing five at the back for most of the first half and, and the second. He only changed up in the last 30 minutes. So, yeah, that was annoying. I really enjoyed going back to the 4 one 2 2 formation in today's episode. It makes a change. The attack was flowing, and Griezmann in that can position, delightful. What a card. What I need to do now, though, is Best is great as a right attacking mid, with me playing 4 one 2 2 I need a right striker with the right foot. So recommend me some players. It can really be from any league because I don't mind taking out Coleman. But he was great. And the tackle that he made, I don't know what I don't know what game it was. Maybe the third, the fourth game. Unbelievable. Inside the box with my opponent shielding and still came away with it. Brilliant. One of the best right backs that I've used for sure. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end the episode. Let me know in the comments uh, how you've been getting on in the weekend league. Are you finding it a little bit more difficult now that a lot of the casual players have stopped? Or are you doing even better? Let me know. Drop a like and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.